Hi there, this is John from Simplex Health. I just want to quickly demonstrate how you can test the pH of vinegar and also water. The reason I've chosen vinegar and water is vinegar always has a low pH, usually around 2 or 3. Water has a very neutral pH, usually around 7. just want to show how we use the strips um, so you can easily get the results that you're looking for when you're t testing different solutions. So, First of all, I'll take my strip and what I'm going to do is test the vinegar first of all. So all you do is you dip it into the solution, take it straight out, so it only has to be in for about half a second, and then you match it against the chart. As you can see, the strip changed straight away to quite an acidic pH, as we expected it to do. And from that, you can see it's matching pretty much to the three. You could even say it sort of sits between the two and three, probably about two and a half. But that is literally how you do it. So the strip's working absolutely brilliantly, as you'd expect. So there we go. So you'd say that's a pH of about three, and that is the vinegar. So let's do the water now. Now we already get the strip. As you can see, the strip is already quite blue on the top, then brown, then green, then orange. So the strips won't change drastically, and we're looking for a neutral pH around about seven. This is uh, drinking water. Anything that's not around seven isn't particularly a great thing. So let's do that, take it straight out. Again, match it against the chart. And as expected, it hasn't changed a great deal. That is likely, yep, I'd call that seven, if not a little bit higher than seven, probably even seven and a half. But um, so that would be called a neutral pH, which is the a water. And if I just get the strip from the um vinegar out so you can compare the two so same pack one giving you a result about seven for the water and the other one giving you a result of about three for the vinegar so it's as simple as that thanks very much for watching